Hello, today I'm going to do a timing analysis on the G-Force Supersonic 13.5 turn motor. Uh, this motor uh, is already set at zero degrees, as you can see. Well, let's just go. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump up uh, the timing uh, every 10 degrees. All right, so motor timing finish. What's the result? Two degrees, so it's quite close to zero. All right, so next, let's do 10 degrees. Here we go. Now this video is just to help you guys out with uh, understanding what the motor timing is. Uh, I've done various videos on the uh, Orca TX, the Trinity D35, the R1 Works, and the Tekken Gen 2. So you can take a look at those videos. So there you go. Average is 12 degrees. So that was set at the 10 degree mark on the can. So let's move up to 20 degrees. All right, there we go. 20 degrees, just so you can see. Let's go. I'm guessing it's going to be 22 degrees. All right. What do we have there? Oh, am I good or am I good? And so you probably will get the gist that the next timing setting, which is set at 30 degrees on the can, will be 32. But I'll just go through all the timing settings just for peace of mind. Okay. What do we got there? 32. Now let's go up to 40. Let's see what that is. And if you like, I will go up to the very end if the timing will allow me. So 43. Let's see if we can move the timing up to the very top. We can. So it's just right at the last hash mark. And we'll get timing reading from that. So you give me an idea where it's at. Okay, sorry, the lighting's not very good. But it's on the very last hash mark. Okay, so 52 degrees. So there you go. Uh, that This was the uh, the G4 Supersonic 13.5 uh, turn. And I hope this video was helpful for setting the timing for your motor. All right, bye-bye.